Alright, not sure how, how that's gonna go, but I'm pretty sure that, that might be just... Just fine enough. Hey, yo, Goy. Ready to for your first, uh, first match? Oh, Goy, yes? Have a game champion here to match that up. Just to take, just take a moment. So, Goy, you said you and Kyrie are friends, right? Well, sorta. No need to be shy about it. Friends are almost just part of life at your age. Here's the race to take. I like to him better when his hair was down. He used to be this quiet little guy, jumping like a leaf, had all the spine of a wimpod. He'd hide behind comedy if he so much as breathed too loud. But I'll tell you what, when I came to Pokemon Battle, I never saw so much joy in anyone's eyes as in his. But then, out of nowhere, he changed. Now he's relentless, pisses himself, pisses everyone around him. Nothing's good, nothing, nothing good's gonna come out, come of this. Someone's gotta stamp him out of it. I tried, but couldn't do it. Guess I've gone soft from the lazy life. So now I guess it falls to you. Sorry, bud. Sorry to keep you waiting, everything's ready. <sighs> I'm ready. Understood. Your championship match will begin soon. Please make sure you're ready. Well, it's all up to you now, Goy. Me and the other Elite Free will be cheering for you. This is an official PB League announcement. A championship match is about to begin at the Battle Corps near the entrance to the Academy. If you'd like to watch the match, please make your way there. Kept me waiting. I worked so hard for a chance to show you what I can really do, Koi. I put everything into stunning and making my Pokemon stronger. I crushed Elite Four and became champion. All of that hard work. All of it. All of it was just so that I could beat you right here, right now! I know I'm making the right choice. You understand that soon enough. You've got some nerve. Bringing out the yoga now of all time! Yes! Because fuck you, I can do that. <laughs> I'm not gonna make sure Olga Pond specifically wins for this match! Doesn't matter the type matchup fucked out for you though. I'll still win. Ah, okay. Well, defense, defense needs to do some work. Okay. How do you like that? See how hard I played? I like to get the kitty battle and kitty Kami, huh? Ice Beam!
I'm just stalling at this point. Yeah, yeah, helping hand. <laughs> you and one help. You and one help, bud. You and one help. Bonk. Punch. Boy Gun Z. <laughs> Man, so many options. Closely combated. And of course you live. Because of course you would. Let me guess, the focus ass? Oh, I guess it was just a damage range. Because that's all, I wouldn't feel sad. Punch. Okay, whatever, this, this is fine. Bonk. Oh, I see must recharge. Here's a four source needs a letter. Okay, well that's gonna be a little problematic. Okay, it missed. Please, please put it to sleep. I was really hoping that would be it. Oh, come on, seriously? Fuck off! Fucking quit! I'm really trying to have a climatic 1v1 here with Ogapon here. Give me a break.
Just go down already! How are you still standing after I've thrown everything I have at you? Hydrapple! Super sweet stirrup. So yeah, that's Dripplin's evolution right there. I don't need the old me anymore. I've changed. And I'll show you how I can change again! Okay, there we go. There's Caesar. Caesar goes down. Blood Moon! And you go for a special attack. Uh huh, okay. I see how it is. Go, Capon! To the lies! Speed woes. <gasps> Bad dragon. Fuck. Teams of fuck you off just in time. It's all you, Okabon! <laughs> Not the epic suite I thought we'd, we'd have, but this works! He actually lost? Let's go, guys. No! Why? This wasn't supposed to happen! Ugh! No! 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 Way to go, both of you! That was awesome! Oh, honestly, Crispin, read the room, would you? Wait, Drayton! Good match, you two. Too bad the, the outcome, though, huh? Ex champion. Look at you, buddy. Way to go. Guess we got a new BBD champion! The Academy's got a prize for people like you making all the way to being a champion. You, yeah, all yours. <laughs> Free Master Balls! Woo! <laughs> if only the hackers didn't spoil the fun, though. I mean, hey, Kyren. This may not mean much coming from a guy who can beat you, but... I wish you'd go back to having fun with all this. 
And I get that burning desire to win. I mean, who doesn't like winning? Just don't let the desire burn you to a crisp. It's hard to watch. Come on, let's all go and... And next time, come again. I won't lose next time. For sure, I, I'll win next time. I'll win. Come on, Kyron, this isn't like you. Go I, I... Oh. Whew. Um, if we might, um, interrupt. Oh, well, it's this. Uh, of course, uh, we want to offer Koi our congratulations for becoming champion. It really is an amazing achievement. Something that should be celebrated. Uh, but with the way things are now, I'm sorry to say that it does, well, uh, it complicate matters. We'll have a bit of a hard time knowing how we ought to proceed. Oh, proceed as what? Well, take around a moment, would you? Of course, he's our champion, and now he's head of the league club. But he's an exchange student. What's our long-term plan here if he doesn't stick around? There's too many particulars to sort out. Oh, huh. Yeah. And of course, if Kyman rejoins the D4 after having lost the rank of champion, that would push Crispin out of our ranks. Wait, what? Me? That's mad, isn't it? I'd like to hear from Kyman himself what he would like to do next. Uh, Kyman. This is an announcement for the following students. BBD Champion Kyman, top of D4 member Dwayne. Coming into class 3 to Ooh, Koi, our exchange student. Miss Bryant, I guess, would like to see you. Please proceed to class in 1 4 as soon as possible. What can that be about? How's really not the time? BB League's champion Kyron, huh? They're gonna need to update that. Dwayne, can you just seriously not right now? It's just not right and certainly not kind! Well, we shouldn't leave this player hanging or run over here at the end of it. Go on ahead, Koi, we'll meet you there. Now make sure Kyron comes too, even if I gotta carry him. You okay, bud? Oh man. Granted, he's become a champion, but it seems we can't celebrate just yet, even with we're still pretty unsettled. Oh no, this is bad. If I'm not in the Elite Four, I can't use the Elite Four space at the Survival Plaza anymore. Going. Thank you. <sighs> here we are, Mrs. B. Thank you all for coming. I'm pleased to inform you that some very special guests are here to see you today. They left for a tour of the school here a mere minutes ago, but I believe they'll return soon enough. In the meantime, I'll feel you all in on the situation. Please have a seat. Don't mind if I do, these knees are creaking. Oh, please, you're not old enough for that yet. Ah, Koi. I heard you were busy battling your way up to the BB League. But you think you make it as far as champion? What a dazzling accomplishment. Thanks, I guess. Sorry, Miss Boyer, but could we leave all that for another time? What's this thing you wanted to tell us about? My part is that was insensitive of me. Let me get straight to today's topic then. I want all I want all of you here to join me on an expedition to the secluded and mysterious Area Zero. Area Zero? That's the pl that place in Powdea you want to visit, right? You got permission? My main goal is to investigate tr the terrestrial phenomenon and to gather samples of the crystals present in the crater. But to be honest, I also have one more ambition for this trip. I'm hoping that we can find Terrapagos, the legendary Pokemon assembling in Area Zero. Terrapagos? I don't know your Pokemon. Oh, wow, was... <laughs> God damn it, Gina! Hi, Rika. There you are, Gita. I was just getting the kids up to speed. I do apologize for my tardiness. <laughs> La Primera! Primera. Hmm? Jumping Koi, I certainly didn't expect to run into you here. Ah, of course, you must be participating in the student exchange program. Koi just got a crowd, up, a crowd on new BB League champion, too. 
Your talent is as brilliant as always, I see. Truly a wonderful thing. You should be going along, then I suppose that bodes well. Is it a while I explain the situation to tune by him? By all means! That's what I'm going to do with all myself. My name is Gita, chairwoman of the Pokemon League of Power Dale. More than a decade ago, the Pokemon League provided support for research on Area Zero, the great creator of the center of Power Dale. Once that research was complete, we set our duties to monitoring and managing the area. Area Zero is full of mysteries, and also danger. Generally speaking, the area is off limits even for research. That being said, recently we've had to confront the possibility that dangerous Pokemon could escape the area. There's a clear need for further research, and quickly. But at our Pokemon League, we've had trouble finding capable personnel, not to mention time, to study Area Zero. So, you reached out to me as I've been requesting access to the area for quite some time now. I apologize that we are not very equipped to deal with this ourselves. Blueberry Academy has a wealth of highly skilled trainers with well trained Pokemon. And with Champion Koi also on the team, I know I could safely initiate a new expedition. This is entirely voluntary, of course, but it would be very reassuring to have you with us. What do you say? We're joining the little team as, as, as we explore Area Zero? Well, well, we got her. Splendid. Well said, Champion Koi. Uh, well, I think it's only the side that I'm going. Your support will be fair. Area Zero is always coming. I appreciate having you on board. Sorry, but I'll pass on this one. The league's up the whole mess right now. We need my steady hand on the wheel here. Sure, you just can't be part of travel all the way to Powder Air, can you? <laughs> Guilty. Not curious about a, what, a, a, what our mighty ex champion is thinking, though. I'm going. If there's a legendary Pokemon there, I want to find it and catch it. This time, I won't let this chance go. Interesting. Then decided. It's too bad that Dwayne won't be joining us, but it seems the teams will consist of Kami, Kyren, and Goy, and myself. Yeah, right, thanks for your help on this matter. I look forward to, to, to the great finds that you will no doubt bring back. I'm grateful for the opportunity, Gita. Leave it to me. My dream of exploring Area Zero is finally becoming a reality. Now, time to prepare. Let's read by the words at the carry entrance as soon as we're ready. It has been a while, Champion Koi. Hey, I kiddo. We can see you too. How are you, service? Not gonna lie, I never dreamed that we were running into you. I see that you're putting your skills to good use and difficult to tie us, but probably a champion, even while ward. That's what champions do. <laughs> Indeed, I would expect nothing less from a talented trainer such as yourself. Yeah, they definitely got talent. Lots of talent. But not enough to get you off the hook. You went into the great crater without uh, the league's permission, didn't you? D don't think you're not gonna get this going for that. I'm really sorry. Oh, sure, now you're sorry. I practically fell out of my seat when I heard about where you'd have been. Calm down, Rika. No harm came to him, after all. And besides, we have good reason to believe that, that all that all Powder would have been a risk if Champion Koi had not, here had not ventured into Area Zero. Well, yeah, I mean, that's true, but. <sighs> Fine, I'll let you, let you off the hook this one time. You better, with, you better thank the boss for stepping in. Don't take poorly, Rika. Seize this boy for you. Now then, Champion Koi. This time you'll be adding it to Area Zero's official league permission. Only a handful of people know about the incident before the time is seen. However, taking into account the dangers of Area Zero, I've elected to inform us Bray of what happened, obfuscating certain details. Speaking of, Boss, didn't you say you had something to give to that wire person? Uh, yes. Yes, I did. I forgot about that. Yeah, McCoy, would you be so kind to take this for me? <laughs> time up! The mysterious disc with an indigo shine to it, given to you by the top champion. It seems to be tied to Area Zero. What is that, anyway? A TM or something? It's a disc that was sent by an Area Zero researcher to, inf to invest it some time ago. I and my investigation team looked into it. It is certainly not a TM, nor is it a real tool for storing data. I honestly have no idea to as to its true purpose, but I assume it has to do with Area Zero. I figured that since you're heading to Area Zero, I might as well ask you to investigate the purpose of this disc while you're there. Why are we there, huh? Did you want him to pick up some potatoes down on the way back too? I do have to return this to me if you end up if you end up not finding use for it. There's still much we do not know about Area Zero. I know you've already been to its deaths, but please exercise some caution about dealing with the environment of Pokemon there. As a champion, it falls on you to protect them and guide those accompanying you. I wish I could go with you, kiddo, but I've got my own work to do. Do your best down there, but don't push yourself too hard, you hear? No, please excuse us. Uh, 
Okie dokie, then. Off to the entrance.